Well, well, well. Look who is and isn't here. I'm here. <coughs> There's some of you who isn't. <laughs> uh, so yesterday, I not yesterday, the day before yesterday, I had said how the Saturday stream may be late or may not happen because my parents were visiting, but my parents had something come up they had to go do. So, I'm here and I'm on time. Who do we got in here? We got Megastar, Warp Drag, Nick Dick, Tallest Fella, Bad Boombox, and, I don't know, uh, Frank Galax. I think that's most of everyone. I didn't get a gamer- I didn't get any gamer juice, I have another iced tea, unfortunately. Better than nothing. Better than nothing. Take a swig. Okay. Yes, yes. If I had to describe that, I would describe it as iced tea. I think that's a very good description of the item we've consumed today. So, I'm gonna try to work more in the game a bit. Um, I do have the baby here with me today, so I'm not gonna be as easy as it usually is. And let's see. One, two. Wait, I'm counting. We may or may not take a break for her to get a bottle. We'll see how that goes. But we will see how it goes. Anyway, I should probably... I can't even open the laptop one-handed. There's like two latches on it I have to unlatch to get this thing going. Let's get this sucker started up here. And see what we can do. Pachuca, you leave that dog alone! This cat's hobby is just to harass this dog. My dog was, was laying quietly on my bed, and the cat jumps up there, so the dog leaves. My dog moves to the floor directly behind me. The cat jumps off the bed to go and harass him again. It's like, leave the dog alone. You're a cat. You're a cat, don't be a dick. All right, let's see if we can get the PC to capture. There we go. Alright, let's see. Today is... 10... 5... 2024. 20, and the time is 13 o'clock. 13 o'clock and 3 minutes-ish. There we go. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This cat is trying to find everything he's not supposed to do to do it. Pachuco, I can see you! He tries to put his little paw under the closet door and to pull it open so he can go in and cause all sorts of trouble in there. Like, 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 here's the thing. Cats know when they're being bad. They, know, they full well know when they're doing something they're not supposed to. And they do it anyway. They don't care. They don't give a shit. They don't give a single shit. Um, ding, 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 ding. Welcome to Windows 98. <laughs> Why are you still using Windows 98? What is wrong with you? Stop buying computers from thrift stores, man! Okay, so like I said, we are going to try... We're gonna try to get some, get some work done. Try to get some work done today, we'll, we'll see. Let's see, where is... There we go. We're gonna try. Good old 35%. Good and old at the same time. All right, let's see here. So last we left off, I believe we were doing work on the makeup gun. No! 
Okay, we implemented cooldown on the makeup gun. So if we try to fire it too soon, we can't. You get dough instead, if you try to spam it. And we also implemented shooting the boy with the makeup gun. Oops. Well, that can happen. Okay, so the makeup gun, the basics are set up. Of course, we have not started any sort of combat system or enemy system or damage system, so that's kind of something that needs to happen at some point. Well, we can deal with that when we get to it. Okay. Now what do we do? <laughs> Right, we have to implement the thing to get rid of that little safety feature. Okay, so let's see. Where did I plop that safety feature down? Should be able to find it wherever this is, right? Mate, well, hold on. I know I implemented it for Homer. I don't remember if I implemented it for Bart. Animation. This is the swap. Looks like the swap section. Okay, this is where we're destroying those. Okay, so let's, let's double check a few things. We're destroying those. We did implement it for, for Bart. Good. Okay, so we should also implement it on holding a cow, we already did, and then on holding the gun. There we go, that's what we're missing. There, so now we shouldn't get that rogue... Rogue gun. Good. So here's the thing. We have this whole menu set up here. And right now it doesn't really do anything yet. If you, like, if you select these empty spots, nothing happens. If you select the down one, we swap. Why didn't that get destroyed? I just implemented that. What the hell? I must have destroyed the wrong thing. Hold on. Gun hold, getting destroyed. So what the hell? That should work. Huh. Unless it's getting created again. So what's the logic to create it? Let's check. This is a problem. If number of homers is greater than zero, is when we create it. So it shouldn't be getting created. Okay, I'm very confused. Very confused, because the way we have this set up, that object should be getting cleaned. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Okay, let's check a few spots here. Where are we creating the swap arts and homers? Let's see. Create them at this step. Are we cleaning up here? Destroy, we are. That's where we're cleaning them up. This step right here, player marker equals 2. When player marker's ultra value A equals 2, that means we're in the middle of a swap, I believe. Or 
right? So what if we copied over and destroyed them there as well, <laughs> just for safety? Destroy. Destroy. Kind of an annoying bug. I'm not sure where the best part to destroy them is. That seems to be working. Okay, so we have extra safety set up now for that. That's really weird. Was my previous safety deletions not even doing anything? And it was just placebo? Really weird. Okay. So the next thing we should probably set up is using the quick menu to actually select items. So we're going to need um, icons for more of these. <laughs> I forgot that we named this horrible Bart. Did we name the, the Homer version? Where is he? The Homer version here? Homer version might be getting created in runtime. Oh no, the Homer version is part of it. Okay. Gotcha. Horrible Bart, get out of here. Okay, how are we positioning Horrible Bart anyway? Let's see. Okay, it's just statically placed over that. That makes sense. Okay, so. Icons. We're gonna need icons. I figure item number one can be at the very top of the wheel. So, item number one for Bart is the cow. Item number one for Homer is the shotgun. So I figure we go with the current style we have here for the player swap icon, and the icons should be realistic. So we're gonna need some graphics. Try and find some graphics. Well, girl, this is why I, I, I never give you your toy giraffe when you're sitting here. You always shake it twice and then throw it onto the floor. And I'm not gonna go down onto the floor and pick that up. I'm busy. I'm very busy. I'm going to Google. I'm going to Google images. Images.google.com. Okay, so, we need a, uh, a shotgun for a homie. Let's start with that. I was about to type Homer. Okay, shotgun. Lots of choices here. Kind of like this one a little bit. But I don't want to go to whatever website it's sending me to, but please stop. You mean street howitzers? The evolution of combat shotguns. What the fuck does that mean? Up to 50% off select products. Wait, is this a gun selling website? <laughs> This is barely a shotgun, this is like a musket. You know what, let's get a different one. In fact, what am I doing? You know what already has a semi-realistic shotgun icon we can use? It's Doodle. 
regenerated from doom. That'll probably look fine. Uh, Alright. Finished my iced tea. Oh, god damn it. God, this website does this. Okay, there we go. Doom slash Doom 2. Girl, why did you throw your burp cloth? You were playing with it, and now it's on the floor. Why would you do this? Ah, yes, all of the enemies from Doom. Lost Soul. Uh, what the fuck is all this shit? This isn't an enemy from Doom, what is this? These aren't guns from Doom, what the, what the hell is this? Shotguns and use this. Okay, I'll pick up your burp cloth. There you go. By the way, I've not yet had the chance. Ooh, oh god, I've not yet had the chance to go to Wawa to get the uh, the gobbler. Not yet had the chance. But I also have not given the money. I also have not given the money. To any school children either, so so we should still be set for the next time I'm 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 I'm, I'm available to go to Wawa. Should still be set. All right, let's see. It's open 24 hours. Are you trying to tell me to put the baby to bed at night, and instead of going to bed, you want me to drive over to Wawa to eat a gobbler? I mean, I guess I could, it just doesn't seem like a good use of my time. This is okay, but honestly, the... It's too dark. It's too dark of a shotgun. I want, I want it to be brighter. I want the black parts to be, you know, silver. Where is it? Where is it? Best viewers on Venom's Space Dot Baby. So we want this to look more silvery instead of, like, black. Uh... What would I even use? I don't... Maybe brightness contrast? Uh... uh. Ew. Okay, that kind of works. <laughs> Little girl, you're being gross. Ew. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Little girl, why are you like this? Okay, can I just paste this over? No. I mean, to be fair, I, I shouldn't have thought that I could. Okay, there we go. Just about sorta of looks like a shotgun. We'll go with that. It's not not the best. Sorta of a shotgun. Oh god, that looks like poop. One more adjustment here. Better. Okay. A lot of Photoshop. Let's get this icon made. There we go. Good and nice and normal and cool and neat. Funny. Yay. And it basically kind of fits in there. Item one icon. There we go. All right, so that's gonna be item one's icon, which is at the top. It's also gonna to need to have a graphic for. Bart's version, which is the cow. And now that I think of it, the cow should be direction right, and then the shotgun should be direction left. Let's just copy this over. There we go. Alright. Now we need to get a cow. Should be easy. We'll have a cow. Come on, before, before it does the thing. SNES, here we go. Okay, let's go get, let's go have ourselves a cow. There's a cow we can use. Come on, where's Cow? Depressed Mario says, Groovy. And then he sheds a tear. Maybe it's under items? I don't know. There's no cow under items. How do you not rip the cow from Earthworm Jim? Like, seriously. Earthworm Jim 2 cow is ripped. Oops, hold on, I'm clicking too fast. Okay, Jim. Utterly abducted. Here we go. Seriously? You ripped everything but the cow? Okay, may maybe, maybe I missed it. Maybe I just didn't see it. Well, let me look at this page again. Miscellaneous. 
Hazards, health icon, password, I'm running door. You ripped the running door, but you didn't rub, rip, rib, rub, rub, cow? Spooky! Thanks for, thanks for subscribing. Appreciate that. Okay, maybe the Sega Genesis version has a cow. Let's go check. <laughs> Please don't pull Daddy's headphone cable. He needs that to hear. To hear all the things. Hello! How are you today? Ow. I'm pulling Daddy's beard. Or on Daddy's headphone cable. This was already established before that the headphone cable is not for pulling. <laughs> all wrapped up. Pretty good. Okay. All right. Let's see. Did I already click? I think I clicked. <laughs> clicking again. I'm clicking again. Stages, miscellaneous font. Okay, Earthworm Jim 2. There's still Earthworm Jim 2. I mean, this is here, but this isn't what we want. I'm glad they ripped it, but it's not what I needed. Okay, we're gonna have to rip it ourselves. Oops, my, my typer's not typing. We're doing it live! Good, this website doesn't work. I don't know why I thought it would. See if there's anything resembling a download button. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, didn't CD Romance shut down? Fuck this. Oh boy, I hope I download a virus. I will take one virus, please. And it's only gonna take 38 seconds. I would like to download one virus from my computer. And make it quick. <sighs> Little girl, why are you being a fuss bucket? Girl's never even seen a bucket. Okay, should be ready in a second. Why'd I download half a megabyte of a Super Mario Sunshine? Did I? Super Mario. Oh, I I got tired of how long it was taking to download, so I gave up. That's what happened. All right. Let's save this just in case we need our RAM. No, you unaligned my icon! Oh no! Quick! Line up icons! There we go. Okay, where is it? Should be alphabetical. Here we go. There it is. Okay, let's get rid of this original file. I didn't need all of them. Ugh. Never. Jesus. 
Why do I have Genesis twice? I don't know, but this one already has a ROM in the folder, so we'll use this one. Let's, let's go let's go get this cow oh god how am I gonna one hand this this isn't a controller is just using the keyboard oh god oh god okay oh no I'm, I'm using one hand this isn't good oh god oh okay 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 there's the cow okay here's what we gotta do now we gotta from the menu Turn off these layers. There we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Maybe I shouldn't have turned that layer off. Hold on. Oh, no. Okay, better. Alright, that's as clean as it's gonna get, I think. Advanced frame is A. I think. Is it Control A? Shift A? I thought it said A. That's an A, right? Oh, I guess I'll just click it until the cow opens his eyes. Open your eyes, cow. Please. 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 God damn it. Okay, Vance. Is it Alt A? It's Alt A. Okay, here we go. Okay, center your eyes. No, don't blink them. Just, just normal cow eyes. Just normal cow eyes is what I need. Please. I want normal cow eyes. I can't tell if that... That might be it. Let me take a screenshot. There we go. Yeah, that was normal cow eyes, I think. Okay, should be good. Should be good now. There we go. Good. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. All right, we have our image. We need to get this into paint. I mean, I can open it in Imaging for Windows Preview provided to Microsoft by Eastman Software Inc., a Kodak business. Copyright Kodak 1995-1997. I don't know why Kodak needs to make my image viewer, but I guess they did. More? There's more to Kodak? Stop this! I just want paint! I'm gonna get paint. Where's my paint? Okay, let's see. How does it can open PCX files? Oops, one more. Here's this one. Of course, of course you can't. Alright. We will just have to open that in um, Photoshop, which is complete overkill for what we're doing, but it's about to happen. It's about to happen. Okay, 
where is the paint bucket? Okay, paint bucket, zero tolerance. Let's just do like full on green here. Little girl! Not contiguous, just. Oh, okay, oh god. Okay, actually, yes, contiguous. Bam. Oh god. It's that bad, huh? Okay, forget it. I will. I will figure this out. Little Carol! Hello! So where's the hole that the fill bucket is getting into? Oh, it's in the cow nose. Where's my pencil? I want my pencil. There we go. I'm gonna have to redraw a few pixels here, I think. Okay, now this one doesn't have to be continued. Damn it, it does. It shares. Look at this. That, that. That, that big branch the cow stands on actually shares a palette with the cow and uses the same colors that, that the otter uses. I never would have guessed that, but I guess it makes sense. Alright. Little girl, you're making this very difficult. This does not have to be this difficult. This could be easy, but you're making it difficult. Ah! Killed some pixels. I don't know why I'm being this precise. It's gonna be like squashed down to fit in the size of the Doom shotgun anyway, but this is what we're doing. It's happening. should be filled down like this. Cows have hooves, right? I think they do. They probably have hooves. <laughs> like if that was a cow, I'd have hooves. There we go, we got a cow. <laughs> little girl, little girl, little girl, little girl! Little girl! Little girl! Okay. Let's see. Uh, I don't know why I thought this had any sort of auto-cropping feature. Okay, who's messaging me? No one's messaging me. Do you ever get... Okay, so obviously phantom phone syndrome is a thing where, you know, you think you feel a vibration in your pocket. But it wasn't your phone, or your phone's not even in your pocket. Do you ever get phantom phone syndrome in that your phone is like sat on your table or your desk and you think you feel your phone's vibration through the desk, but then it was nothing? Shit's ridiculous. Okay, let's see. Paint. We need to make this 256 colors. Cowlers. Little girl, you're currently pulling on the video cable to the computer. Please don't do that. No, no, please let go. Thank you. Thank you for letting go. Holy crap. Okay, that's that's an acceptable downscale we got here. Oh god. Okay, you know what? We'll 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 just do like this, and we'll deal with it inside of click and play, which I don't even have open right now. Little girl, are you kicking everything? 
Are you kicking everything in the whole world? There we go, in here. Alright, so... Go... One of these, one of these, and then we're gonna deal with our... All of our, our problems in life here. Center. Okay, so now this needs to be the same size as the shotgun. So this is 54 across. So let's resize this to be 54 across. I've seen worse. Okay, the hotspot's at 27, so let's kind of do the same thing here just for consistency's sake. Alright, and that'll be just adjusted a bit. Alright, good. Good, 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 good. <coughs> Little girl, here's the thing. I know you're... Okay, listen, listen, listen. You're big enough to crawl now. The problem is, if I let you crawl around my room, you're gonna pull all the wires out of the computer and out of the walls and out of uh, the, the, the computer walls and out of the wall computers. And then what will you do? So you hadn't considered that, have you? She didn't consider that. And now she never will know what to do. Now let's see. So let's always position this on the thing. Actually, how about like 72? Let's try 70 and see how it looks. Alright, let's see how the positioning works here. Oh, it doesn't exist at all. Did I fuck up? Oh, that's at start of level. It's supposed to be always, not start of level. Alright. This should be shifted over to the right a little bit, but honestly, let's do that with the hotspot, since the hotspot's, you know, not very well centered here. change depending on the player and then later on once we've worked out which room owns the items we can implement code to not show the item if we don't have it you know collected okay let's see of number of homers equals one then the direction will be left Barts equals one, the direction will be right. So that should change the icon shown depending on who we're playing as. So right now it's Homer, it should be the shotgun. Well, makeup gun, you know. And then when we switch to Bart, it's now the cow. Good! Good! Less time to implement than I thought it would. Okay, so we have. Okay, in terms of items, we have the cow. We have the cow, which will dash into enemies, do some light damage to them, eat grass that blocks your way, and then explode. We have the makeup gun, which can do, you know, slight damage to enemies, 
and be used, and it will be used to activate, like, you know, target switches. You know, like the eyes in Ocarina of Time that are at a distance, or like over a pit. So that works pretty good. That works pretty good for those items. Now, we need to consider other items now. Um, so, one of the items should probably be the equivalent of a bomb. What could we use as a bomb, and which of the of the Simpsons should have the item? Like, what, what's a good bomb replacement? Hmm. A flaming Mo. Lisa can't be a bomb. Got what the flaming mo is. Isn't it just a drink that they lit on fire? The explosive soda can Homer threw at the guys. Hmm. That's true, he did do that. First, I want to look up what a flaming mo is. Flaming mo. Yeah, it is a drink that's just on fire. Okay, um... But I do also like the exploding sody pop. I like that Lenny's on fire. I do like that Lenny is on fire. Alright, let's see. Homer... Exploding... Explosing? Exploding... Soda? Was it a soda? It was. Oh, right, he took Pop Rocks and he poured it into, was it a Duff or was it a, a, a soda? Was it Buzz Cola? I'm trying to remember. Pop Rocks, hold on, there's a Simpsons wiki page about it. Okay, Pop Rocks are a type of candy that Good, good. I'm glad that header is just gonna follow us. That comes in a green packet. Putting them into Buzz Cola and shaking it up will cause an explosion. Okay, so it was Buzz Cola. Was the explosive. <coughs> Little girl, it's okay. You're just a baby. You are only a baby. Buzz... Ow. Cola. <coughs> God. Okay, let's go look up some reference images of Buzz Cola. Buzz Cola. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. It's a red can with like a a yellowish logo on it. Try to draw a can of Buzz Cola here. Okay, I figure it should be <clears throat> kind of sideways. Hold on. I don't want to. I don't want to be super autistic about this. But hold on. It's too late. Too late, I'm already super autistic about it. There we Can't be perfect like that because it's gonna be too stout. All right, let's let's be reasonable about this. 
and not autistic. Let's just draw a can of cola. It feels too thin. That feels better. Oops. Seems like a decent kind of thickness for a can of cola. God damn it! There we go. That seems decent. Okay, so it's got kind of a yellow little ends. Little yellow little ends here and there, so that should be fine. Then you know the silver at the very top. Let's see. Yellow kind of has to be like. That and we have silver at the very tip. Seems good. That. See, I can art. As long as it doesn't matter, I can art. If it does matter, I can't. There we go. Alright, it's a beautiful can of soda pop. Wow. Who, who, who did this? Who drew this beautiful soda can? No one had ever seen something so incredible. There we go. So that's the basis. Now we have to start adding some details, so it has to have a buzz on it. So it's that kind of just scratchy. And it doesn't have to be too perfect. It's pretty thin, so we can kind of like do one of these. Oh boy. Okay, I want to make sure there's room for the whole word on here, so let's just kind of... Not that close. Not that stinky. Adjustments, little laser, little laser. I wish I had a little laser. I only have a big baby. There, and that can kind of fall off the can a little bit. should have a black core, but there's not really room for a black core. Make some slight adjustments here. I shouldn't even bother trying to add any black to it, because it's just not going to look good. Uh, we should probably give this some very minor basic... <laughs> Little girl, what's wrong? Here, this is for you. Do you like it? I hope you like it. I hope you like these. Very minor shading to this guy, let's see. 
That's too dark of a... Ugh. It's too dark of a shade of red, but we're gonna kind of replace it with something. <laughs> Less dark shade. Okay, that's fine. Do a less dark yellow, but still darker. something. Oh, no, I mean, it's not that it's too pink. The problem is it's too close to red. This might be better. Oh, that kind of adds a slight shade to it. There we go. Not bad. Touch. Okay, like if, if you twisted my arm, I would openly admit that that looks like a soda can. You know? You have to twist it pretty hard, but I think it gets the message across. Say before we lose everything. Good. Very good. Good. Now, now we ask the baby a question. <clears throat> little girl, little girl, what do you think about Sonic the Hedgehog? Do you think he's stinky? Do you think he blows? What do you think of him? Tell me. Give me your opinion. Go on, we're all ears. I don't think she has an opinion on Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay, what do you think about Super Mario? Do you like Super Mario? No thoughts on that. What do you think about... Okay, but what do you think about pizza? You like pizza? Alright, I can see this was a complete waste of time. We're not getting any answers out of her. Complete waste of time. She won't tell us a thing. Oh well, what can you do? Not much. How about you? Oh, don't cry about it! You had your chance! Alright, there you go. Let's see. We have a Buzz Cola. Um, there was a second artifact here. The Pop Rocks. That should be a little easier to draw. I think. Okay. Let's see. It's got kind of like a mauve or like lavender base color. A color which I'm not even sure is in the click and play palette. Hmm. 
We don't really have that color, do we? Bit disappointing. Okay, well, no problem. We'll just use this. Squareular package. It's almost rectangular, though. It's a little more square. Let's do, hold on, let's give us some more room to work with. Like that. One more rooms. Like that. Okay, that's sort of square. Oh, girl, what are you doing? Oh, don't turn invisible, you're a baby. Okay, then he's got like his green, like, popping thing here. It's kind of like... Mm, or like, maybe... No, not super bright. We don't quite have the right green here, do we? Maybe like that. green outline which honestly this this one should have been the dark green shade that I just drew but we'll, we'll remedy that the inside kind of, little girl you're pulling on the video cable again please don't do that thank you all right and it just says pop rocks on it let's see if we can't pop these rocks Very simple, just... <coughs> Little girl, what's wrong? Excuse me. Excuse me. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm going to... No, 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 it's fine. I'm just going to write the word Pop Rocks. No, I'm just going to write the word Pop Rocks. It's fine. Really? It's okay. Oops. like the shape of that one. Let's give this a little more thickness. I think that might help a bit. Okay, that's a better P. Do a quick outline that we're going to carve it into what we want. Thickness down a bit. That's that's a pretty decent album, okay. Then we got another P. Just get a basic thing going here and start to fill in the details. General shape and then car. how you want to do this. A general shape that you carve out later. It says pop. I don't know how I'm going to fit rocks on here, though. Bit of an issue. Let's try to trim this up a bit, in fact. I'm 
it's not looking good. In fact, I'd say it's looking bad. Okay, okay, wait, wait that's a little better. It's a little more popular. Little girl, are you trying to chew on the pillow back there again? Because that's the impression I'm getting from these sounds you're making. It really does sound like you're trying to chew on that pillow back there. Which is really gross. That's, that's kind of like a pee. Oh no, we don't want that. Okay. Then we're gonna cram in rocks. She's just chewing on the pillow. And smiling at me about it. Little girl, why does this make you happy? This isn't a chew toy. That dope. Still extremely simple lettering. as we can get to an R. Okay, that helps. St sticking the leg out of it helps a bit. She's just really chewing on that thing. Are you sure you wouldn't, you know, have your pacifier? That might be better for you. I'm, I'm just saying, it might be better overall if you chewed on a pacifier instead of a weird, like, Gamer chair pillow. Okay, that definitely says Pop Rocks. And there's some like rocks or something coming out, kind of like this. on them. They have little, like, lines coming out of them. scent badge in the corner, but you're really not going to see that, but just put the suggestion of one here. Okay. That looks like shit. And then we're going to give some minor little shading into the package. If we can get away with it. Exact same color I had before. Something a little lighter up here. Oh, 
lighter shade of green, just slightly lighter over here. Wow. Little girl! Pop Rocks and Buzz Cola. Oh boy. This girl is tiring me out. <laughs> it's not easy to do this one handed while holding her on my other arm. Like, she's heavy. She's heavy. this reference image. Okay, so, right. we need... What do we need? We kind of just need Homer to hold these two objects. Should he hold them to his sides? Or should he hold them over his head? I mean, I guess to his side makes more sense. It would be easier to draw, probably. Okay. So let's get scratching. Okay, let's grab a frame and start working on this. So heavy. Okay. So the hot spot. Let's mark the hot spot so that we don't lose track of it. Here's to be right here. Yes, that's the hot spot. Action point is less important for this. Okay. So we need to get rid of Homer's head. Like that. Start. I'm going to start drawing the things. Oh boy. This is so tiring to do with <laughs> her in my arm. <laughs> For, oh god, I had like freezer stuff. There was like a half empty bag of fro of frozen potatoes O'Brien in the freezer and I cooked that up and I, it was too many potatoes and I ate it and I'm sure it's gonna come back and like destroy me later because of all the oil and shit that went into that. Oh man. Oh man. I don't even know who O'Brien is. Okay, so I wanted to um, extend out the canvas here. So let's try doubling it up. Doubling, you know what? Just for safety, let's do 96. Approximately here-ish. It's kind of the center. Hot spot fixed, which is why I left the red dot. There we go. Okay, now we have to draw his hands out to the side while also covering the existing hands on his model here. Model. On his body here so that we don't have, you know, four-handed Homer acting like he's Goro out in here. <laughs> ah, don't pull on daddy's beard! Ow. Ow. Okay, 
let's start by drawing the arms kind of poking out so that we kind of ow, get a feel for ow, how we're doing this. Ow. <coughs> Little girl, you're crying. I I'm the one getting my beard pulled and you're crying? <coughs> like, have you considered get over it? <coughs> have you considered get over it? <coughs> Who's getting their beard pulled? Is it me or you? Which one? Little girl, little girl, little girl. Okay, I'm gonna ask you another question. I'm gonna, no, 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 I'm gonna ask you another question. Okay, okay, here's the question. Here, here's the question. The question is, would you like your pacifier back? You would. Okay, here you go. There. That was an easy one. Okay. Alright, let's see. Drawing some arms. Just gonna stick it out. In fact, this can be a little shorter. Opa. She's just scratching the arm of my chair now. She just really wants to scratch that, that chair arm for some reason. Entire left arm is so tired from holding her. Okay. Let's see. Get some. A uh, little bit of oh, shading. Not shading. Outline. Ugh. Little girl. Ah, oh, little girl. <laughs> Okay, okay. Oh, don't touch the microphone. <laughs> oh, little girl, can you say dada? Can you say dada? Yeah. She, she, she's mouthing words, but she's not saying it. Little girl, say dada. Come on. That's Papa. Say Dada. Say Dada. Go on. Say Dada. No, you're not gonna say it. Say Dada. No, don't touch the mic. Can you say Dada? <clears throat> Little girl. Can you say Dada? Dada, Dada. No, you can't. That's Bob, 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 Bob. That's not Dada. What a dope. What a dope. She doesn't even know how to say Dada. She doesn't even know. Okay. This is where Homer will hold one of the objects. Let's try to get up. Draw a mitt over here. That's a big, meaty mitt. Good. Now I want to do the same thing for the other side. Let's kind of do this part. Get this like that. I'm trying to visualize Homer's arm, and you're making it turn into like a a, 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 a pincer. You're making me pincerize Homer's arm!
Okay, we're, we're, we're getting somewhere. Slap a mitt over here. Okay, those are some beefy ass arms, but it serves our purpose. Okay, now we need. <laughs> <laughs> so beefy. Oh my god. Um, okay, and he does not need his his legs here. Legs are not an important part of this equation. Oops. Okay, then we need to get the objects into his hands. Alright, there's a Buzz Cola. I'm just not realizing that the style I drew the these two items in do not match the style that Homer and Bart are drawn in, but I also don't care. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Little girl! <laughs> Little girl! Excuse me! Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Come here, come here. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, sweetheart. I know, I know, I know. It's okay. Sweetheart, it's okay. Here, here, here. Take your binky. Okay. There you go. There you go. There you go. It's fine. You're okay. You're okay. okay so let's give this a quick name. Holding bomb. Uh, let's quickly overlay it over home man. What did I do? I don't want the step through editor. kind of double um, outline you get when he's walking downward, his bottom, but that's not much we can do about that. And it looks like it's going to be pretty easy to adjust it to the different directions as well. Pretty easy. In fact, I should probably just make his shirt a little longer at the bottom to help get rid of that um, problem we're seeing. Oh, 
Okay, so that's for looking down. How did it look walking to the right? I wasn't really paying enough attention to that. almost works for walking to the right, except for that hand sticking out. That should be easy enough for us to fix. And then up is just gonna have to have the shirt redone a bit. Okay, that, that should be pretty easy. Let's grab this. Oh, right, I have to go actually get the color for his pant. Grab his pant color. Yeah, we should really just have to kind of draw over where his um, his hand pops up. The problem is we have to figure out exactly where that is. Let's start with that and see where that gets us. Okay, we went too far back, it looks like. I'm gonna move that forward a bit. No problem. Girl, are you dozing off? Okay, that works for the hand. And then we can just copy it to the other direction. Are you dozing off, sweetie? What time is it? Tell you what, sweetheart. Hey, let's get you. You're not listening to me. Let's get you your bottle, and then I can put you down for a nap. What do you think of that? Okay. Alright. So this, this little... This little, this little chalupa here needs to have her bottle. And then be put, put somewhere for a nap. So, so give me a few minutes. I'm gonna take a bottle break. I'll come back, and we'll try to do some more work on the, uh... What we got going on here. Don't go too far, I'll be back. I just put my glasses over my glasses. Hold on. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to... I had to put the baby down for a nap. Alright, shoot. And what a nap she's taking. What a wonderful uh, look! Look at this nap. Look at this great nap she's taking, where she's not not sleeping and just just scratching the side of her little crib instead of sleeping. It was smart, very smart, very smart. Okay. Look at this Pokemon you caught. That's I don't think that's right. I don't think that's right. Okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? Bye, Spooky. Thanks for joining us. Alright, so I was working on some Homer. Right now we should have both Homer directions. Yep, left and right are working. But it also swaps the position of the items, and that's like driving me nuts, so I have to fix that. Like, that's gonna make me sick. It's gonna make me violently ill. Update. I, I know you can't see, I forgot. Update on nap status. She is now, um, sitting up, and, um, I'm still not sleeping. Can't escape. You can't climb out the, a wall like that. It doesn't make sense. Uh. Uh. 
this. Object, and then we'll slap the object back in. Makes perfect sense to me. thing. Perfect. So now the items should not swap. Yes. Now I just need to work on the uh, going upward animation. We should be good. Also, I forgot we have to get rid of the uh, here that we were using to keep track of hotspot, we're not gonna need that no more. how this will look. That's basically perfect. There we go. We can carry the Buzz, Cola, and Pop Rocks. She laid down for for a few moments, but now she's back sitting up. What a little stinker! Smellaholic. Okay, so to be honest, the pop rocks object we're not going to need. We're really just going to need the cola object. We're just going to be the bomb. Screen. At the start of the level, we destroy. Okay, so. So. We need to set up the item switching. Alterable value A controls which item we have equipped, and B is the countdown. Where are we initializing? How, how are we doing the menu selections here? Let's see. And this is it, I think. Okay, so fingers facing down, ultra value A of quick menu is one, and ultra value C of detect button one and two is, God, that's confusing. <laughs> Ultra value A of quick menu has to equal one. Okay. Let's start with that. Oh god, look what happened. Because we accidentally activated step through editor, it generated a bunch of default events. Oh no. That's so annoying. Right. 
Thankfully, it didn't do a bunch of them. Just some of them. But it's annoying enough that I need to deal with them. Okay, let's see. Don't need these. God, that's annoying. What? Oh god, what did I just do? I, I deleted the event instead of the event. I know what I mean. That's all that matters. Okay, are these, are these cow events legit or are they auto-generated? Let's see. Okay, those are auto-generated. Sigh. Damn it, I keep doing that. Okay, stupid auto generated events are now deleted. Now we can get back to what we're doing. Okay, and I don't even remember what I was doing because I had to stop to take that goddamn detour. Update on the nap. She is now sitting up fully and just, um... Chewing on her pacifier. Good nap. Good nap. Okay. Alterable value A of quick menu equals 1. Alterable value A of quick menu equals 1. Where's, where's quick menu? Alterable value A of quick menu is 1. Okay. Alterable value C of detects buttons 1 and 2 equals 1. Direction of the thingy. Direction is up. Okay, let me just check to see if there's anything else I did in this event. Right, we ignore control, but that's just because it's the uh, swap event. It's not as important. Set alterable value A to zero for the quick menu. Okay, we can do that. Sorry, I keep thinking I'm seeing auto generated events when I know I'm not. Okay. Alright, so in this event, we, this will only kick off if the icon for item number one is visible. And we'll just make it invisible. Guys. Guys. If I'm sitting here talking and clearly working on something and the camera's facing at me, that's your cue to say something in the chat. Ask your cue to say something in the chat about it. <laughs> That's your cue to say something. You got lost in my eyes. You can't see my eyes. I'm wearing sunglasses. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, up, ultra value, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. We set items, ultra value A, to one. Did I even have the gobbler? I, I, I didn't have time to go to Wawa. I didn't have time. Get 
that'll set item to, to one. Wait, are we using one or are we using zero? Now I'm, I'm confused. Zero. Zero is item one. So why'd I do one? That should be zero. Okay. Now, if we're going to set up the item for the Buzz Cola, we need to have an icon for it. So let's go ahead and save and go get an icon for Buzz Cola. While we're waiting for the internet to exist, just real quick, I just want to once again express my gratitude that you guys watch this stream. I don't get a lot of viewers. So, I very much appreciate that you come to watch it all. Otherwise, I wouldn't have anything to do with my the little free time I've got. So, thank you. I appreciate that. It means a lot to me. I like, I like to do stream every once in a while. And if I didn't have anyone to watch it, then... Uh, what would be the point? What would be the point? There's a few Buzz Colas here. Might as well just use this one, because this one's the stinkiest. It's on Wikipedia. Ah, the Wikipedia page for products produced from The Simpsons. Buzz Cola. Duff Beer. Krusty O's. Malibu Stacy. She's just kind of laying there and squeaking. What a dope. Radioactive man. Squish E. Tamako. Notes. Wait, where's the image of the Buzz Cola? I was promised an image of Buzz Cola. It's here, but it doesn't exist. God damn it. No, I want a big image! God damn it! I guess it doesn't matter, because I'm just going to shrink it down anyway. Okay. Steal the cola. Baby is so well behaved when she's not trolling daddy. She's supposed to be napping right now. This isn't well behaved. This is the opposite of well behaved. Okay? She's in here sucking on her toes. That's not napping. That's the opposite of napping. You can't nap when you're sucking on your toes. Let's just use the polygonal lasso tool. With, um, I'm not gonna feather it or anti-alias it because it's not gonna be featherable or anti-aliasable. There we go. She's just going. She's just babbling now. She's just in there babbling. She's supposed to be napping. It's nap time. She just spit her toe out and made a disgusted face. Okay, there we go. 
chop this a bit. Okay, now what was the... Hmm. You know what? Let's just get this into a low color mode and then we'll figure out the size. I heard some noise, but the cat is sitting there behaving himself, so I'm not sure what that was. It leaves me concerned, but not concerned enough to get up from my chair. Save this as a 256 and see what it happens to it. Holy crap. That's not the worst degradation, that's pretty good. Alright, close out all this shit. Check real quick, see if it was Cinco messaging me or not, because I, I was sitting here thinking, you know, it could be Cinco trying to open the door, because I know Cinco doesn't know how to open doors. Icon, and we gotta shrink this sucker down. She's being such a bad girl today. <laughs> oh, 50%? How would I magically do 50%? Oh, well, there you go. That's your item number two icon. Little girl, you're supposed to be taking a nap. Take a nap, right now. Bad baby. I mean, she stopped going ba ba ba. That's an improvement. Let me just- I'm pretty sure Cinco's home. Let me just go look. Because if it's not Cinco, then it's a burglar, and I'm gonna have to, like, fall down the stairs. Gamers, 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 is it's Cinco. It's Cinco and, and she brought she brought she brought Sarku. She she brought Sarku for lunch and and and, and the baby is, is 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 chewing on her toes again. Anyway. Let me position this object. Okay, uh oh, I didn't say that. I didn't set a correct hot spot, did I? Nope. <laughs> ok, 
Okay, uh, position, select position. I don't know why I'm excited for Sarku. I was just talking about how I had too much fucking potatoes for lunch. I don't care, I'm gonna eat it anyway. I'm a fat shit. Oh, there we go. Second object, okay. Good. So that's positioned. Let me add the event at the bottom. So, this... Finger is facing upright. And item number two icon is visible. When that happens, we will set... Alterable value A to one. As opposed to zero. Bam! So we got that all set. We got that all shit. Goodbye, stupid. We've had a lot of fun on your crappy computer. Please don't ever come back. Alright, well, there you go, that was our stream for the day, thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, appreciate it, um, tune in Tuesday at 8pm Eastern for another hour long mini stream with more Ghost Trick, tune in Thursday at 7pm Eastern for more Paper Mario, and then tune in next Saturday 1pm Eastern for more working on our game, we're going to try to implement the mechanics of the uh, Buzz Cola Bomb. We will. Anyway, I'm gonna go lay in my bed like a shrimp. Just like, just like the baby is. While I eat Sarku. Thanks for watching. At least be decent to people.